Dear students, under the unit Partial Differential Equations, the first topic is Formation of Partial Differential Equations. In practice, there are two methods to form a partial differential equation. The first method is by the elimination of arbitrary constants and the second method is by the elimination of arbitrary functions. So in this video, we shall learn how to form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants. We have to remember that when we differentiate z with respect to x, we get p. And when we differentiate z partially with respect to y, we get q. So, when z is partially differentiated with respect to x, we represent it as p. And when z is partially represented with respect to y, we represent it as q. Okay, we shall solve a problem on this. The first question is, form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants from z equal to x squared plus a multiplied with y squared plus b. Now, if you see here, let us take this given equation and we shall write it and mark it as equation 1. So, y squared plus b. And let this be equation 1. Now we have to form a partial differential equation by eliminating constants from this given equation. What are the constants in this given equation? A and B are the constants. Now we have to eliminate these constants and form a new equation. And we know that uh, if dou, uh, that is z differentiated with respect to x, we have represented it as p and the partial differentiation of z with respect to y is represented as q. So, the resulting equation will be uh, containing p and q and these arbitrary constants from will be eliminated from that. So, let us see that now. First of all, what we shall do? We shall differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x. So, when we partially differentiate with, uh, with respect to x, on differentiation, this will become dou z by dou x because we are partially uh, differentiating it is equal to. Now, if you see, if we are going to partially differentiate it, then y will be treated as constant. Already b is a constant and this y will also be treated as constant. So, this whole term becomes a constant. So now on differentiating this, what we get is the differentiation for x squared is 2x and a is a constant. So when we differentiate it becomes 0. So 2x plus 0. So we are writing it just as 2x multiplied with y squared plus b. This remains the sum same because this, con this, is, this will be treated as constant and this constant is in multiplication with this term. So it remains the same. So after this, we know that dou z by dou x is represented as p. So let us replace it. So p will be equal to 2x multiplied with y squared plus b. From this, we can write y squared plus b as. So y squared plus b will be equal to p divided by 2x. So, we shall have this as it, as it is. We are writing it in this way because we want to substitute this instead of. So, for substituting y squared plus b as p by 2x in this equation, we are having it in this form. Okay. Now, similarly, when equation 1 is partially differentiated with respect to y, what we get is. So, differentiating equation 1 partially with respect to y. So, what will happen here? It becomes dou z by dou y is equal to dou z by dou y is equal to. Now, this x squared plus a will be treated as constant. So, this will remain the same. We have to differentiate this alone. Differentiation for y squared is 2y. So, a differentiation of b is 0. So, 2y plus 0. So, x squared plus a multiplied with 2y. So, what we get is x squared plus a multiplied with 2y. Now, what is dou z by dou y? We know that 
do z by do y is represented as q so we shall substitute that so from this q will be equal to x squared plus a multiplied with 2y now in order to substitute we need to substitute this x squared plus a over here we can rewrite this as x squared plus a to be equal to q divided by 2y so q divided by 2y now what we shall do we shall mark this as equation 2 and this as equation 3 now we shall substitute equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 1 now in equation 1 z will be equal to so we are writing here z to be equal to the first term is x squared plus a what is x squared plus a it is q by 2y so i'm writing here z equal to q by 2y multiplied with y squared plus b so that is what we have in equation 1 y squared plus b what is y squared plus b p by 2x so let me substitute that p by 2x over here so this will be equal to so z will be equal to we can rewrite this as pq divided by 2 multiplied with 2 is 4 and then xy and taking this over here multiplying with z what we get is 4xyz to be equal to pq so this is the required partial differential equation which we obtain after eliminating the arbitrary constants a and b from the given equation so if you see here in the solution there is uh, it the solution does not involve the arbitrary constants a and b it is independent of those two constants therefore we have arrived at the partial differential equation as it involves p and q and p is the partial differentiation of uh, x z with respect to x and q is the partial differentiation of z with respect to y so therefore this is the required answer we shall now solve another uh, another simple problem where it is given as form the partial differential equation by eliminating the constants from this given equation so now we have to first as the first step we have to partially differentiate this with respect to x we mark it as equation 1 and differentiating this partially with respect to x we get dou z by dou x to be equal to now here uh, this y will be treated as constant and b multiplied with a constant is again a constant and this a b is also a constant so this whole term is a constant so on differentiation this will become 0 so now we have to differentiate this a x alone where the differentiation for x is 1 and so a multiplied with 1 will be the differentiation which is equal to a but what is dou z by dou x we know that it is p so p is equal to a is the first equation that we obtain and now let us mark it as because we have named this as equation 1 let us mark this as 2 in a similar way we have to partially differentiate with respect to y so what we get dou z by dou y will be equal to so dou z by dou y will be equal to now this ax will become constant ab is also constant so these two terms on differentiation will become zero so we are left out only with by so the differentiation for y is one so b multiplied with one will be the differentiation uh, so that will be equal to b and what is dou z by dou y we know that it is q so q is equal to b so this is equation 3 now we shall substitute this equation 2 and equation 3 that we have obtained in equation 1 that is wherever we have a we have to substitute p and wherever we have b we have to substitute q and so this equation 1 will become z is equal to a x so what is a it is p so p x plus b y so q y plus a b that is p q so this is the required partial differential equation so this is the answer for the given question in our next video we shall solve more problems on this topic thank you